numerous spy night, but not the way I'd imagined. My lecture at the American University had been followed by an unexpected invitation to a crime scene. Professor Langdon, thank you for coming. I am Captain Bezu Fash. Do you know this man? Chaksonier, the curator of the Louvre. I was supposed to meet him tonight after my speech. Follow me. It seems Monsieur Sommier put up quite a fight. <laughs> You saw the photograph, so this should be of no surprise. Feel free to examine the body, Mr. Langdon. It's a pentacle, one of the oldest symbols on Earth, used over 4,000 years before Christ. Devil worship. No, the pentacle is a pre-Christian symbol that relates to nature worship. The ancients envisioned their world in two halves, masculine and feminine. This pentacle is representative of the female half of all things, a concept religious historians call the sacred feminine or divine goddess. Sonnier of all people would know this. Sonnier drew a goddess symbol on his stomach? Interesting. The position of his feet reinforces the reference to the pentacle and the sacred feminine. I beg your pardon? Replication. Repeating a symbol is the simplest way to strengthen its meaning. Jacques Sonnier positioned himself in the shape of a five-pointed star. <laughs> Interesting analysis. He stripped himself naked, folded his clothes, and put them away from himself? Pardon? It's rather meticulous for a dying man. I think he was trying to show us that everything he did had a purpose. Even his nudity may have meaning. Uh, what do you think about the use of his own blood as ink? Obviously, he had nothing else to write with. Actually, I believe he used blood such that the police would follow certain forensic procedures. I'm sorry? Look at his left hand. He's clutching a large felt-tip marker. It smells like alcohol. Sonnier was holding it when we found him. As I told you, we have touched nothing. Are you familiar with this kind of light? As you may know, police use black light illumination to search crime scenes for blood and other forensic evidence. So you can imagine our surprise. What the hell does this mean? That, monsieur, is precisely the question you are here to answer. Part of it looks like a numeric cipher. Yes, our cryptographers are already working on it. We believe these numbers may be the key to who killed him, uh, but the text appears to be an accusation of some sort. Uh, wouldn't you agree? 
An accusation against his murder makes sense, I suppose. Sonnier was a Frenchman. Uh, he lived in Paris. And yet he chose to write this message... In English. Precisement, Monsieur Langdon. I have seen a lot of death in my work, and let me tell you something. When a man is murdered by another man, I do not believe his final thoughts are to write an obscure, spiritual statement that no one will understand. I believe he is thinking of one thing only. La vengeance. I believe Sonnier wrote this note to tell us to kill him. But that makes no sense whatsoever. You told me Sonnier was attacked by someone he had apparently invited in. Considering the circumstances, I would assume that if Sonnier wanted to tell you who killed him, he would have written down somebody's name. Precisement, precisement. Capitaine. Oh, uh, one moment, please. Uh, oui? Uh, Capitaine. Un agent de département de cryptographie est arrivé. Unacceptable, I made it very clear. Captain, please excuse the interruption, but... Ce n'est pas le moment. I have deciphered the numeric code, but before I explain, I have an urgent message for Mr. Langdon. For Mr. Langdon? The U.S. Embassy asked that you phone in as soon as possible. While I explain the code to Captain Fash, you need to make this call. Thank you. Where can I find a phone? This line is secure. You may use it. Hmm. Bonjour. Vous êtes bien chez Sophie Neveu. Je suis absent pour le moment, mais... I'm sorry, Miss Neveu. I think you may have given me the wrong... No, that is the right number. It's the three-digit code on the paper I gave you. But... The Embassy has an automated message system. You have to dial an access code to pick up your messages. Ah, this is the number I'm supposed to call. Yes. It is the Fibonacci sequence, a progression in which each term is equal to the sum of the two preceding terms. Never heard of it. Mathematician Leonardo Fibonacci created this succession of numbers in the 13th century. Obviously, there can be no coincidence that all of the numbers Sonia wrote on the floor belong to Fibonacci's famous sequence. Wh what is he saying? What does this mean? Absolutely nothing. That is the point. It's a simplistic cryptographic joke. Like taking the words of a famous poem and shuffling them at random to see if anyone recognizes what all the words have in common. No, this makes no sense at all. Those Monsieur Langdon, do not react to this message. Just listen calmly. You are in danger right now. Follow my directions very closely. Tell Fash the phone message is regarding an injured friend back home. Then ask to use the restroom at the end of the Grand Gallery. Captain, considering what you have at stake here tonight, I thought you might appreciate knowing that Jacques Sonnier might be playing games with you. Apparently not. I will inform the Director of Cryptography you no longer need our services. Is everything all right? An accident. Uh, a friend. I'll need to fly home first thing in the morning. Who would you like to sit down? Actually, I think I'd like to use the restroom. The restrooms are at the end of the Grand Gallery. Shall I accompany you? Not necessary. I, I think I'd like a few minutes alone. I must return to Monsieur Sonnier's office for a moment. Uh, please come find me directly when you are finished in La Toilette. There is more we need to discuss. Thank God you came. We don't have much time. I wanted to warn you, Monsieur Langdon, that you are sous surveillance caché, under a guarded observation. But why? Because Fascist primary suspect in this murder is you. Look in your jacket pocket. You will find proof they are tracking you. Just look. What is this? It's a GPS tracking dot. 
it continuously transmits its location to a global positioning system satellite that the DCPJ can monitor. We use them to monitor people's locations. It's accurate within two feet anywhere on the globe. They have you on an electronic leash in case you decide to run. In fact, they hope you do run, because it would make their case much stronger. Why would I run? I'm innocent. Do you recall the three lines of text that Sonia wrote on the floor? What you saw was not the entire message. This is a photo of the complete message. Why would Sonia write this? Was he trying to frame me? No. He wrote it for me. The numbered code is meaningless. Sonia wrote it to make sure the investigation included cryptographers, ensuring that I would know as soon as possible what had happened to him. Why you specifically? How do you know it wasn't for some other cryptographer? P.S. is the nickname he called me when I lived with him. It stood for Princess Sophie. We had a falling out ten years ago. Jacques Sonnier, he, uh, he was my grandfather. Where's Langdon? Uh, still in the men's room, sir. We are seeing small movements, so the GPS dot is obviously still on him. Perhaps he feels ill. If he had found the dot, he would have removed it and tried to run. Hmm. Fine. What should I do? Fash will be taking you into custody any minute. I can get you out of here, but we need to act now. You want me to run? It's the smartest thing you could do. If you stay, you will spend weeks in a French jail. But if you get to your embassy, then your government can protect you while I prove you had nothing to do with this murder. Forget it. You need to tell Fosh that the message on the floor was for you, and that my name is not there as an accusation. Fosh is convinced you are guilty. The only way to get you out is with a distraction. The GPS tracking dot? We need them to think you are running. If we can throw it out the window onto one of the cars going by, I bet a lot of the police would clear out. But the tracking dot does not weigh much more than a gram. See if you can find something to attach it to that would make it heavier. I can use this. Soap? That will work. Come, help me open this window. Where's Langdon? Still in the men's room. He must have broken the window. I knew it! He is trying to escape. Quick, Robert! Help me get this window open! Hurry, Robert! Good. Now put the GPS tracking dot inside this shop and throw it out the window. Ah, I'm on the right track. He jumped! I'm showing the signal out on Place du Carousel, outside the bathroom window, and it is not moving at all! Ah, oh, dear! I think Langdon has just committed suicide! Here's someone coming! Quick, Albert! Hide! Wait, wait! Ah, oh, he is moving! Oh my god! He is alive! Uh, Langdon is moving! He must be in a car. I think he is in a car. I can't... He is moving south, faster, uh, crossing the Seine on Pont du Carousel. Bring my car round. I want to be there when we make the arrest. O oh, draconian devil, O oh, lame saint, the scrambled Fibonacci sequence is a clue. The numbers are a hint as to how to decipher the rest of the message. He wrote the sequence out of order to tell us to apply the same concept to the text. O oh, draconian devil, O oh, lame saint, those lines mean nothing. They are simply letters written out of order. You think this message is an anagram? Like a word jumble from a newspaper? Your grandfather's meaning was right in front of us all along, and he left us more than enough clues to see it. Let me see that photo.
the Mona Lisa, Leonardo da Vinci. I can't imagine how your grandfather created such intricate anagrams in the minutes before he died. My grandfather probably created these anagrams long ago. What is important is that he wanted me to see something at the painting. You're going to the Mona Lisa? Now? I am not the murder suspect. I'll take my chances. I need to understand what my grandfather was trying to tell me. What about the embassy? The signs will lead you to a security turnstile. Mine is the car in the employee lot. Do you know how to get to the embassy? Whatever my grandfather was trying to tell me, I don't think he wanted anyone else to find it. As strange as it may sound, I think he wants me to get to the Mona Lisa before anyone else does. Or come. No! We don't know how long the Grand Gallery will stay empty. You have to go now. I will see you at the embassy, Monsieur Langdon. Oh, Grandpère. Why did you do this to yourself? What was so important that you needed me to see? <laughs> you always did like to play world games with me when I was little. Bonjour, Agent Nevu. How are you? Ah, Agent Nevu. Did you hear that Robert Langdon escaped? Fash is quite furious. The door will not open for some reason. This door is locked. <clears throat> there is something I need to see in there. Oh, uh, sorry, Agent Nevu. Our orders are clear. No one is allowed through. Is there any evidence in there? Well, not that we know of. Why? Oh, never mind. Whatever message Grandpère hid in there is probably not visible to the naked eye. Perhaps he used the pen he was holding to write a clue. I need to find the UV light. Grandpère pulled down the painting of the Caravaggio to set off the alarms and bring down the gates, but I don't think he left any clues for me here. If the officer sees me, he will not let me pass. I must sneak by him. Hmm. So, do you think Langdon killed the curator? I don't know. It's so hard to tell me those are This is a beautiful blood. So far, so good. You would think the judicial police could afford better quality equipment. I have to equipment. knock out that officer to get to the evidence cart. This should be useful. Uh, this could be useful to knock someone out. Judge this! Got it. Mm hmm. There you are. Robert, I told you to get out of here. If Fash. Where were you? I had to get the black light. If my grandfather left me a message, I thought they told you to leave. Why did Seigneur write my name on the floor? P.S. Find Robert Langdon. The letters P.S. may mean Princess Sophie, but do they mean anything else to you? Anything at all? Yes. I saw the initials P.S. once, when I was very young. Sophie, this is crucial. Can you tell me if the initials appeared with a symbol? A fleur-de-lis? How could you possibly know that? I'm fairly certain your grandfather was a member of a secret society. The fleur-de-lis combined with the initials P.S. That is the Brotherhood's official coat of arms. They call themselves the Priory of Sion. The Priory's membership has included some of history's most cultured individuals. Men like Botticelli, 
Sir Isaac Newton, Victor Hugo, and more importantly, Leonardo da Vinci. The identities of Living Priory members are kept extremely secret, but the P.S. and fleur de that you saw as a child would make sense if tonight were Priory related. There is a lot we need to discuss, but I cannot afford to let them capture you, Robert. Sonier obviously brought us together for a reason. I'm staying until we figure this out. <sighs> Fine, then help me. My grandfather wanted us to see this painting for a reason. There must be a message hidden here somewhere. It smells like alcohol. Where have do I smelled it before? Do you think I have everything before? I need to do this? What is this? They look like random symbols. <laughs> Nothing my grandfather ever did was random. Hmm. Now that you mention it, the arrangement of these symbols seems to indicate word groupings. An encrypted substitution cipher. Sophie, cryptology is your specialty. Any ideas? Well, there are several things that are important to remember. But a lot of it has to do with how common a letter, sound, or word is. Bacchus and Uriel? Bacchus is the god of wine, and Uriel is an angel if I'm not mistaken. There is a painting of Bacchus in the Grand Gallery, and Uriel is in Da Vinci's Madonna of the Rocks, which should be in there too. Let's go! Robert Langdon, you are under arrest! Wait, wait! Robert is innocent, he did not murder Sonnier. Asian Navu, innocent or not, I have direct orders to arrest Robert Langdon on sight. I'm sorry, but I can't go to jail until I help Sophie find the real murderer. You are... working together? Robert, look out! Hmm... Oh. Stay right there! We don't have to fight. Ah! He'll be all right.
Well, I don't see anything special. Everyone seems to be pointing at something, though. Bacchus points to the right, and Uriel points to the left. In between them, we have John the Baptist, and he's pointing up. There's something up there. On the painting, above John the Baptist. Give me a boost. Maybe I can reach it. <gasps> it's Compere's ring! The fleur de lis is a symbol of purity, a common reference to the Virgin Mary. But why hide it in the first place? Why not just keep it on? He was probably worried the police might take it as evidence. But why? He wanted us to find it. Is there an inscription on the ring? A clue? No. Nothing. Then where is Langdon now? Have any fire alarms gone off there? No, sir. Okay. Langdon must still be inside the Grand Gallery. Inside? But what is he doing? Are you armed? Yes, sir. Then go. I can't get back to the perimeter for a few minutes, and I don't want Langdon breaking for an exit. Agent Nauvoo is probably in there with him. Handle it. I want Langdon and Nauvoo at gunpoint by the time I get back. Okay. Let's go. Robert! Someone is coming. You must hide. They will see you. <clears throat> Have we looked everywhere? <laughs> Show me what you got. No. Why don't we just call it even? No. This all could have been avoided if you just let me go. This is my grandfather's office. Maybe we can find a clue here. is in trouble. We have to go to San Sulpice and help her. She knew my grandfather as well, but I don't think he wanted me to go there. None of the clues point to her. She's in danger, Sophie. Once we find a way out of here, I have to go help her. This night has been moved recently. The dust is disturbed around the edges. I think Grandfather moved it so the lens would point us towards something. Robert, take a look at this. It's research on where all the fleurs de lis are in the Louvre. Interesting. It might be another clue to Sonier's involvement with the Priory of Sion, or perhaps the Priory's involvement with the Louvre. Demande de renfort. 
this map of the Louvre. It smells... <laughs> it smells like alcohol. He circled his office? No, look closer. It is the room next door, the restoration room. There is a vent up above. If you boost me up to it, maybe I can get to the other side. I think we need to search around some more. Maybe we can find a clue here. Chemistry isn't my strong suit. Me neither. What do you think this table is used for? There must be instructions for this somewhere. I cannot make out what the painting is supposed to depict. Maybe we can remove the dirt. Instructions for creating a cleaning solution. If I can make the solution, I can probably clean up that painting. Speaker of enzymes should clean the painting. I cannot make out what the painting is supposed to depict. Winged victory of Samothrace. That's here in the Louvre. But why would Sonier want us to go there? I've never heard Vash so angry before. There will be cops all over the place. We need to stay out of sight. I know you are somewhere around here. Show yourself! Get to the Grand Gallery immediately. What? Fascist orders. This isn't necessary. Oh. 
Ah. If someone finds this guy unconscious, I'll call for backup. This panel with the fleur-de-lis has a circular hole in the center, almost as though something was removed. So far, so good. I remember all this from my childhood when I would stay at my grandfather's chateau. He must want us to go to his home for Mocluse. Better hide him before someone comes looking. I think that's enough. He's out cold. I better move him out of sight. Langdon is probably halfway to a Drop your weapon! In my hand.
the last time. Where is the keystone? I say again, hitherto shalt thou come, but no farther. Then pray, sister. Grandfather wanted us to go to his mansion. All the clues point to there. I understand. But you heard the message from Sister Sandry. I have to help her. Then we will have to split up for now. I'll pick you up a sense of peace. Robert, be careful. You too.